In this segment of Ukraine Simplified, we'll take a look at SWIFT. We are your hosts, Devin, Dylan, and Liam, and Vasco, and we'll talk about what exactly SWIFT is and how it connects to the conflict in Ukraine. So, Devin, what does SWIFT stand for? Society for Worldwide Interbank Financial Telecommunication. When and why was it created? According to Wikipedia, SWIFT was set up by and for its users to support international finance and commerce. By the time SWIFT went live in 1977, 518 institutions from 22 countries were connected to SWIFT's messaging services. Since then, 11,000 banks from 200 different countries have enrolled in SWIFT. Vasco, what does SWIFT do? According to Shabit Seth, a freelance financial writer, derivatives trader, and consultant specializing in derivatives, pricing, and quantitative research, SWIFT SWIFT is a vast messaging network that banks and other financial institutions use to quickly, accurately, and securely send and receive information, such as money transfer instructions. SWIFT is one of the most used banking systems used to transfer money from one bank to another. Devin, what does SWIFT have to do with Ukraine? SWIFT is blocking Russia, and blocking Russia will make the economy shrink and make if the Russian banks cannot receive or send information from banks. How many Russian banks have been cut off from SWIFT? Seven Russian banks have been removed. What does this mean for Russia? Banning a bank from SWIFT freezes its ability to transact with the rest of the world. Since Russia has been removed from SWIFT, does this mean that they cannot communicate with other banks? According to the Washington Post denying access to SWIFT, does not stop banks from communicating or transacting with 11,000 financial institutions outside the SWIFT network. Disconnecting banks that do not face sanctions are free to use alternative messaging networks to settle payments. What is Russia's alternative, Liam? According to Janet Guyen, SPFS is a Russian equivalent of the SWIFT financial transfer system developed by the Central Bank of Russia. Vasco, what do the experts say? Expert Carla Norloff says disconnection from SWIFT is often portrayed as a nuclear option in geofinancial brinkmanship. Bottom line, SWIFT is a banking system that lets banks send information to each other, and they have removed seven of the largest banks in Russia from being a part of SWIFT.